Hello everyone, and welcome to the Dream Team update video for November. As you can see, we have a new main menu and intro screen. Neat! Speaking of interfaces, we've also updated the look of the equipment viewer. The swords and guns and all that kind of stuff look a lot nicer, but still a little bit hologram y. I might tweak this in the future when I revamp the look of this, and I aim to give it a more glitchy look. I fondly remember the Megacorp gun shop from Ratchet and Clank as wonderful little janky vendors. You may have noticed something else too. New weapons. They're placeholder. I do want to make these a lot nicer and create proper hand-painted textures for them and get them higher poly. But for now, they give a good array of styles to use. And we have a kitten shield. What else could you want? Speaking of melee, we've also added the next combo set, the Great Sword. I've taken a lot more time and care to refine this combo set and make sure all the values are just right for each hit. We have lovely, chunky camera shakes. Hit sparks, distortion trails, and clangs and slashing the sound effects. Yes, of course, we had to add the Dragon Slayer. Everyone needs some in their life. I've also been having a bit of fun with procedural animation this month, namely with Leg RK. The player now stands more believably in the world, with his legs adjusting to different heights, his hips adjusting with a brilliant pop and his torso leaning back in to counterbalance. I've allowed for quite a lot of flexibility in this, where you're allowed to stand and lean into super dramatic poses. Take a gander at Stairs, the ledge lean, the acrobat, or even the roly pole. Hmm. Yeah, I need to turn it off when you do that. That's, uh, ooh, that's unhealthy. And lastly for this month, we have the new replication system that I've been working on. Previously, whenever I tried to do these fancy movement types, it would glitch out hella crazy stuff and just be generally unpleasant to use. Essentially, the change I've made now is that all the stuff happens on the client side and it's sent through the final location and rotation of the player in their current animation state. Here's an example of how it looked before and after. Ooh. There's still a couple little things I need to tweak for each movement type, like grappling ropes not appearing for everyone but the player, but I'll get to that later. For now, it works. Next month I'm going to be adding the final touches to this build, then releasing it for public testing. If you want to be a part of that, you have to join the Discord. Link will be in the description. It's where I'm going to be organizing future tests and polls and all that good stuff. But I think after the playtest goes out, I'm going to take a one month break from the game to take a breather and make another game. I've been watching a lot of Yahtzee's game dev diaries, and I just really want to make a small project to reinvigorate myself. I must admit, after about nine months of the Dream Team and only having the bare bones structure done, I really just want to finish something. Not sure what it'll be yet, but whatever it is, I'll release it for free. Once again, if you want that, then you've got to be on the Discord. Anywho, that's it for this month, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Toodaloo.